Hello friends, today's topic is computation of assessable value or customs value. Okay friends? Friends, customs duty on goods imported or exported is calculated on this assessable value. Okay friends? So, to calculate the customs duty, we need to compute the assessable value first. So, in this particular video, I am just covering the computations of assessable value. Okay friends? So friends, let's start computation of assessable value. Okay? Friends, to calculate the assessable value, we need to start with FOB price, that is free on board, which is also known as transactions value, okay? Now, we need to add number A, cost of transportation or freight, number B, cost of insurance, number C, landing charges, okay? Now, number A, that is cost of transportation or freight. Friends, if the mode of transport is by air or we are having the air freight, in that particular case, actual transportation cost or 20% of FOB, whichever is lower, would be considered as the cost of transportation. If mode of transport is by other than air, that is, if it is not by air freight, it may be by ocean freight or any other freight, in that particular case, actual transportation cost would be considered as cost of transportation. Now, number B, that is cost of insurance. If the insurance cost is ascertainable, then we need to consider the actual cost. If the cost of insurance is not ascertainable or it is not given, then 1.125% of FOB to be considered as cost of insurance. So, up to this, we are having FOB price and cost of transportation and cost of insurance will get CIF that is cost insurance and freight value okay friends now number C that is landing charges landing charges means loading unloading and handling charges friends previously it was 1% of CIF value but now it is not to be added by virtue of amendment in customs valuations rules by circular dated 26 September 2017 means as per the amendment in customs valuations rules, we are not adding the landing charges. So landing charges need to be considered as nil. Friends, suppose the given question is this one. FOB is given rupees 50 lakhs. Transportation cost is given rupees 12 lakhs and in bracket it is written by air. Cost of insurance is not given in bracket it is written not ascertainable. Landing charges is given as rupees 80,000. Find accessible value. Okay, friends? The solution part. Okay? Computation of accessible value. I'm just copying the format and pasting across over here. To start with this, we need FOB value, right? So FOB is given rupees 50 lakhs. So we are just copying the FOB value and pasting across rupees 50 lakhs as transactions value or FOB value, right? Now, next we need to add cost of transportation. So add cost of transportation. Here it is given by air. So if the transportation is by air, then the formula would be actual transportation cost and 20% of FOB, whichever is lower. Here the actual cost is given rupees 12 lakhs and 20% of FOB, here FOB is rupees 50 lakhs. So 50 lakhs into 20%, here we are having 10 lakhs. So lower of this two is rupees 10 lakhs. Okay. Now, next we need to add cost of insurance. In case of insurance, friends, if the actual cost is ascertainable, then we need to consider the actual cost. If the cost is not ascertainable in this particular case, 1.125% of FOB. Here the cost of insurance is not ascertainable, not given. So we need to apply this formula 1.125% of FOB. So here FOB is to be 50 lakhs. So 50 lakhs into 1.125% is 56,250. So addition of this three, that is FOB value, cost of transportation and cost of insurance will have CIF value that is cost insurance and freight. Now friends C that is landing charges. Friends just check it across here the in the question given question landing charges given rupees 80,000 and previously our calculations was 1% of CIF. But as per the latest amendment in customs valuations rules landing charges will be nil and in this particular case CIF value of rupees 60 lakhs 56,250 will be equal to the accessible value as rupees 60 lakhs 56,250. So friends, we have calculated the accessible value. The customs duty 
on goods imported or exported is calculated on this assessable value. In the next video, I will try to cover the calculation of customs duty. Okay friends?